everybody, I'm Adrian or Mufasa and I taught the beginner dart lesson. Uh, we started out working with um, a reminder of the basic planes, so the wheel plane on the right side and the left side. Wheel plane forward would mean the wheel dart is going forward and this will wheel the car would be moving me forward versus backwards, this is backwards. On either side this is backwards, this is forwards. And then there's the wall plane going either uh, it's reverse for you, but to me it would be counterclockwise or clockwise in front behind me. And then the floor plane, which is parallel with the floor above and below me. Uh, so the first trick that they learned was simply being able to do these silly high kicks. From there, we discuss uh, the fact that if you are doing a right side forward wheel plane, switch to the left side of your body, and rotate to the left 180 degrees, suddenly you're in the right side backwards wheel plane. And if you're bringing it over to the other side and turn again, you'd be going forwards, which means that anything that happens on one side of your body will reverse and it goes to the other side of your body. So, the next thing I taught them was to take the left hand, stick it in the way of the rope, loop it around a few times, and bring over to the left side of the body and automatically unwinds. Winds around one, two, three, and then unwinds. One, two, three, and you're out. This same principle can be applied to a whole bunch of other parts of the body. You can use your legs. Can you see me? Okay, so if I were to use the inside of my red leg, I can, again, loop around and pull across. It starts to wind around and then unwinds. I can use the inside of my leg, of both legs, going across and doing so can walk forward. And so the students practice that. And then if I go and loop around the back side of the leg, I can walk backwards. <laughs> So that, that allows you to walk forward and backwards while doing more than just, you know, marching with the rope to the side of you. You can apply this principle of uh, switching planes also with suicide wraps. So, I'm looping in front of me, and then I'm going to turn to the other plane to unwind. I can switch from front plane to behind plane by either rotating 180 degrees or just leaning backwards. Like so. The students then practice kicks. We practice first um, stalling with the foot, so doing a wall plane in front of you, letting the rope dart uh, rest below your foot so that your foot makes contact with this area, which is above the head. Let your foot absorb the impact and then send it in the opposite direction. Let it absorb the impact, send it in the opposite way so that you're able to just stand there and flick it back and forth. Once you're able to do that and you want to do a basic uh, stall kick, you let it absorb into your, hand, uh, into your foot and then you shoot it out. Instead of letting it continue into a circle, like so, you let your hand go uh, loose so that the rope can shoot out. Then we discuss um, the next kind of kick, which is bird kicks branch, I believe. I believe that's what it's called. Where basically the rope is forced to fly off of your foot or your knee simply by momentum. We start out with the knee, where it goes like so. Doing that. That's better. Uh, where basically the momentum of it pulling around your knee sends it off immediately. And then we did the same thing with the foot, which is nice because you can do it over and over and over again. Um, and then we started out the basics of, um, uh, oh, then we did uh, snake wraps around pillar, where it goes under the right leg. You take your left foot, point it back, let the rope dart stall against it, and then you kick it out. And then we were about to start with the basic idea of empty knots, but that was covered in Logan's class in another video. Thank you.